you guys get into this look okay so my homegirl shout out to megan she gave me a tip and said why don't you do green a emerald green look and bam this is what i came up with it's so gorgeous it was super fun to do i love the lip combination just everything about it is just mm. so if you love it like i love it and sis i can't wait to go out and just show this face off this money face if you love it like i do then you know what to do keep on watching what's up everybody it's your girl ray bay glam and if you are here to watch me create that bomb beautiful green emerald smutty look then you have made it to the right place also let me just stop here if you're watching my video and you have not comment not you don't know how to comment just subscribe because you obviously like the look and I be coming with some some hits, some 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 tea. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't play yourself. Don't play me. I have a lot of stuff to say. I be talking sometimes. And um, we're gonna grow together. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But let's go ahead and get into why I look crazy. Um, so I've already done my eyebrows off camera. Um, and those who've been watching know I've been doing this tape method for my eyes because I am a messy eyeshadow person. So that's why the tape is here. I've already primed my face with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And today to achieve um, that beautiful green look you saw, I decided I got other palettes, but these two palettes, my two Morphe palettes, I've had for about a good two years and I really don't use them and they're pretty bum. So today I wanna to use Boss Mood, which is the 35M palette and then Stunning Vibes, which is 35V. So I'm trying to figure out, for, no, first let's go ahead and lay some um, concealer on our eyelids. So let me take something a little bit brighter. I'm gonna take Butterscotch, my multi-sculpting concealer and born this way in the shade Butterscotch. I'm gonna pop that on my eyes. Bam. Now, like I said, Morphe makes some really good palettes. Sometimes they're hit and miss for me. Sometimes they could be a little color pop-ish. I'm no shade of color pop, but. But one thing about Morphe is they don't have a mirror. So that's why I have my other palette, my Huda Beauty palette for the mirror. But I am going to go ahead. So I'm going to open both of these palettes. So I, I kind of forget what colors are in here because I don't use it. Like, what's wrong with me? Because I I was swatching colors the other day and I was like, man, this palette is bum. Like, what's wrong with me? Anyway, so we are going to go ahead in the Boss Mood palette, we're gonna use this brown right here under the eye bone situation. Let me grab a fluffy brush, a wide fluffy brush, and take that color and place it all over my lid.
so so bum look at that now that is all i'm going to use well i'm gonna come back to this palette we're coming back i'm gonna go into my what is this the stunning vibes 35v palette and it's this color it's like give me chameleon vibes like that i was just like this would be so pretty on top where's my paper brush okay we're gonna go, we're, oh, i can't wait to use it is this color here y'all i've used it before and i can't i can't tell if you can tell it's kind of like giving those different reflexes i just i can't explain it but i'm ready to use her but no one do remember my master um metal manipulator <laughs> we're about to use this on this morphe i'm going to take a couple drops of this i'm going to place it in the corner a little, I just want to see what it do. I'm going to take a, a little bit of this color. Put the manipulator on it. Dab. Dab. I just want to see what's going to happen. What's going to happen. This, color, this lid color is bummed by itself, but let's just see. And we're going to start from the corner. We're not taking her all the way up. It made it kind of gray. I don't like it. So you know what I'm about to do? I like that green. This made it kind of like silvery gray. Which is, if I was going for that look, I would have kept it. But we're trying to do emerald today. Emerald. So I'm going right back over. I'm just about to spray my brush again. I'm going to go right back over and fix that child. Child and error. So that's what I'm saying. Trial and error, honey, because baby, no, that's not the look we're going for today. It's not. I'm going to go right back on over with my beautiful color. Okay. She's, she's about fixed. Let me go. Okay, she's back to normal. Whew, Cause no, I didn't like that. Now for this part, a little bit right here, we're gonna take a darker green shade. Now we're not gonna do too much with her. I'm gonna take a small packer brush and just fill in that little part right there. Not too much. Okay, I had to use a makeup wipe because oh, makeup wipes save lives. I know they say thick lives save thick thighs save lives. No wipes do because child, so I gotta re put my little primer right here. Woo! But like I said, besides the fallout, which a lot of palettes, not just Morphe, has. I mean, look at that. 
That's so pretty. The color, the pigment. Bam. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to dry it down a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. I want to set my face with some Morphe setting um, powder in the shade Translucent Rich. Okay, that's good and set. Now, y'all, I just can't get away from my Estee Lauder, so that's what I'm using. I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Sandalwood. Sandalwood is what I'm using. I'm going to use Estee. I'm going out for sushi again. <sighs> and so for a temporary moment, I got to wear a mask, and she doesn't smudge off. Like, sis is true to this. She's not new to this, okay? So, oh. And you guys, we will be doing our fan talk today. And I think it's appropriate now to talk about something that is a little bit more steeper. We're going to be talking about depression. Depression and uh, specifically in the black male community. So let me go ahead and get my um, concealer popping on right quick. And then we're going to get some chit chat going on. Chit chat. That is y'all. Y'all know I've been using forever. My Makeup Forever Matte in the shade, Matte Concealer in the shade 5.1. And I want to go in with Butterscotch uh, from Born This Way. I'm pop it right on the top here. I always leave forehead last because I ain't trying to have her dry down like that. Now it's time to talk. Now, the topic that I wanted to talk about today, depression, period. But I really wanted to address it in the black male community. Um, there is a stigma... For those who don't look like me, because those who look like me, you already know what I'm about to say. There is a stigma in the black community, especially, but it's specifically for a black male that you just can't be depressed. You can't be sad. You just, you have to deal with it. You got to figure it out. You can't show a sign of weakness. You can't show any vulnerability or you weak. And your whole community don't like you. And nobody want to deal with you anymore. And it has really destroyed I feel like the conversations that we need to have with our black men our black young boys um it has in my opinion destroyed marriages because men can't really talk about how they feel or what hurts them or whatever the case may be because they don't want to seem weak in the eyes of their wife or you know their wife's family or their family or even themselves because they're just told that a man is basically to work and die that's it you don't get to have feelings bro your feelings don't matter and um shout out to the families that do you know 
recognize that there's depression and sadness from childhood and then you go get seek counseling um i feel like talking to your home girl or your homeboy um and counseling and the reason why i'm gonna say that not to say nothing's wrong with it y'all just please don't think that i'm saying stop talking to people that are hurting and all that because i'm not the, the fact that they're talking to you that they, they want to confide in you is step one but when it comes to relationships or just life period if you're talking to a friend that they're going to be biased sis or bro they're going to be biased to your benefit so they may or may not you may get some reference like me i'm 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 always going to keep it real 100 way, whether it hurts your feelings or not. But not too many can do that without feeling bad. So it's best to get someone that's not going to have a biased opinion about what you're going through. And therapy is one of them. Now, I can tell you this. A lot of people aren't opposed to therapy. It's just in the black community, we don't have access unfortunately we don't have proper health care a lot of times we can't afford proper health care uh, it's not offered in the line of fields of things that we choose to do it's just not something that's it's it's a dream and i know you guys hear it all the time well that's a white people thing and it's really it's a rich people thing or a middle class thing and sometimes we just don't have the ability and then with the lack of education too you know, you're not going to really seek something that nobody around you is talking about. Like, if your friends say, man, every Friday night we're going to drink, I'm, I'm going through some messed up stuff, or I'm going to smoke this blunt, blah, 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 I'm going through this, that's how they cope with their problems, then that's how you think you should cope with your problems. Now, ain't nothing wrong with you. I don't do anything like that. I don't smoke or I really don't drink. Ain't nothing wrong with smoking and drinking. I'm not trying to say that at all. But I'm telling you this, and you could clock me, be mad, whatever. If you're smoking and drinking every day or every weekend, every, I mean, faithful, you got to have, you got a problem. You have a problem. Don't get mad. Don't, don't shoot the messenger. You can't shoot the messenger, child. Send me some ugly me messages. I'm going to be like, you want to go smoke now? <laughs> you want to have a drink now? I mean, y'all, y'all got to realize that your behavior, even though it's deeply rooted in your family sometimes, it's toxic. And it's really killing y'all. Like, it's not benefiting us at all. We, especially you men, your opinion to me matters the way you feel matters because if okay so for example i'm married to a black man he's feeling type of way feeling inadequate feeling if he can't come to talk to me as his wife about it then guess what he gonna do i mean look at the divorce race i'm not just blaming it all on men and stuff but men typically step out because they're not being valued or heard or respected in the household you know what i'm saying i mean Sometimes men just cheat, just cheat. But a, a good, decent man, though, um, sometimes they have to be heard. You need to be able, it needs to be equal. There shouldn't be no women, you know, the happiness, happy wife, happy life. No, it should be happy spouse, happy house. And that starts with talking about depression and sadness. And unfortunately, that could have started from childhood. You know what I'm saying? That may be a little deeper thing. Maybe something they really don't want to get into. It may involve them addressing their sisters or their brothers. Mama, stop probably doing recording. Okay, my bad. My mom was calling me, y'all. Anyway, but depression could have started at a young age. You know what I'm saying? For a black male that's sad and depressed um, and really didn't have anybody to turn to from a childhood safe standpoint, they probably tended to, you know, handle that and bury that a long time ago. So probably a lot of time, by the time they're grown, they don't even think they're sad or depressed. But 
And that may also put them in a situation where they have to confront someone that they really deeply respect in the household, like could be their mom, their dad, their sisters, their brothers. So you have to be attentive. You have to actually, you know, show empathy to um, the black community, the black males, um, especially nowadays, like where the whole world is literally. When you think of a black man, when you see a black man walking down the street, you think he's a criminal. And I know y'all don't want to hear this, or maybe some people do want to hear it. Maybe some people maybe knew you've been living on a rock, I don't know. Um, but this is America for a black man. And they're sad, and they're hurting, and they are trapped, in a sense. And we need to do better with giving them a platform and a reason for speaking out on the depression. And they'll help us. I want. I love y'all. I man black men I love you let help me help you but y'all gotta I also put it give them that environment to feel comfortable to say those stuff because we 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 ain't giving it to them and it's showing now that is if my fan talk I know they got a little deep well, I'm just here to help people. I'm it's, again my opinions and stuff, so don't think it's I'm saying like this is fact and stuff. I'm showing you what I see in my life as a a young black um, woman, and um, it needs to be addressed. Okay, back to makeup. <laughs> then I'm gonna call my mom back. Y'all, my mom just called her. She didn't even answer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and chisel up with my um fan. Anastasia Beverly makeup stick in the shade Ebony. Y'all. What? A day. Chisel, chisel. Chisel, chisel. Mm -hmm. I want to add down Sasha Beverly foundation stick in the shade mink. Mink, 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 mink. Right on under the chill. Oh. Oh, no, you don't, Duchess. No, you don't. No. Now. I'm going to go ahead and work the outer area. I'm going to spray my forehead. Holy water. Let's go ahead and blend this out. All right, she's nice and blended. Yes, blend. Yes. Now let's go ahead and get this no situation. Let's do our nails. Where's my nose brush? Where's my nose brush? Where's my nose? Okay. I'm gonna take my contour. We getting there, y'all. We getting there. We getting there. Getting there, getting there. Go ahead and blend her out. Blend her out nicely.
We're not leaving her like this, y'all. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go in and clean her up. Looking good, looking good. Now we're going to set it and forget it. So I want to set my nose. I liked it with the banana powder last time. So I'm going to set her with my Fenty banana powder. Take a little bit of that and just go down the bridge of my nose. Voila, bridge, done. Now I'm gonna take cashew and set my under eyes and all the other little places that I had. Oh, let me shake her. I've been using her. Yes, I have. Done, renewed. All right, the base is looking good and bronzing. And speaking of bronze, I'm gonna order me some more. I need to stop playing. But let me go ahead, Dusty. Let me go ahead and mascara, bam. So y'all know I'm using my lash primer from Sephora. Nothing new here. Nothing. <laughs> And while we're letting that do what it do, let's add some bronzer, my Fenty Coco Naughty that needs to be fixed or bought some more of, because I'm tripping. Oh, I just love bronzer. I focus it right up in here. I don't bring it too far down. And of course, this five head. It's so pretty. Bronzed. Yes. Now let's go ahead and use our NARS Climax. Like I said, nothing was new on the mascara. Nothing. Nothing. That's just that stuff flying on my nose and everything else. So, yeah. I was I didn't know what to do at first but I said pink and green looks really good together so I'm gonna do I'm gonna use um what shade I was gonna use ginger binge from my Fenty um highlight collection I'm gonna take a highlight brush 
Y'all know how I like to just concentrate my highlight in the natural areas of the face, natural lighting of the face. See, that's pretty. That's pretty, actually. Don't leave the highlights sitting on y'all face, though. Blend that shit out. Bam. She's pretty. Let's do the other side. She's so pretty. Now I want to put a little bit of that highlight on my nose. And down the bridge of my nose, I'm going to take a brush to kind of diffuse that out. Mm -hmm. That's just enough. Like, I don't like a lot of highlight on the nose. I think that's just too much. Perfect. Perfect. No, no, I gotta sit back. Now for lips, I thought at first, I don't know, I'm gonna do like a pinky. Not gonna be too pink, but it's gonna be a nude pinky. Y'all, I got another pencil. Y'all know I've been using my KKW3. Now I'm going to use 2.5. I don't want a harsh brown, but I do want it to be brown. So we're going to go around and line the lips with 2.5 from KKW. Now I'm going to go with a NYX Suede Matte Lipstick. It is the shade... Dainty Days. She's like a pinky muted. She's too pink for me to be off on her own, like I gotta say. Pretty. Now, I could leave her like this, but we're not going to make her work alone, okay? She's going to have a gloss buddy. And the gloss for today is from my Buxom. I love this gloss. It's um, champagne, pink champagne. And <sighs> smells good. It's tingly on the lips. It's... <laughs> it's one of my favorites. That's so pretty. That's so pretty. Now I'm gonna spray myself twice. <sighs> Once went my misfits from Make a Fever. And another with my continuing matte Morphe setting spray, setting mist. Oh Jesus. Let me pat her in with my sponge. Cause, oh.
and here you guys is the final look i absolutely love it it looks so good with brown eyes i love this dark hunter green under the eye giving me kind of a mm, mm, mm. i just mm, smunning i love it you guys and if you enjoyed this video enjoy the look then don't forget to comment like and subscribe i talk back you guys i talk back Love you. See you later.